role of the HR department is extremely important. Now there is a, a more narrow role as well which uh, we often bump, in, bump into and it's worth talking about this. This is personnel management. As we'll see personnel management is much more streamlined, it's much more focused on some aspects of uh, employment than the HR department. HR is wider, personnel management is narrow. It relates to people management within an organization. Personal management aims to provide a framework for assisting in developing and maintaining the individual's employment. So it, personal management is much more detailed, it's much more specific. The personal management functions could be related to recruitment and selection, as was the HR. Development of good working environment, as was the HR, so there is a, a big overlap. Maintenance of good employee relations, similar to HR, again, big overlap. And development of effective training courses. So we can see from these four points, A, B, C, and D, that there is a, a strong overlap with the idea of HRM. In fact, the two terms, the HR function and the personal management function, are sometimes used interchangeably. People see them as, as the same. But what we want to get across here in this session is that the HR function is wider. It looks at these four points, the ones we've got on the slide at the moment, A, B, C and D. And I want to put across that the personnel management section is much narrower. Now let's look at how that can be narrowed down. It tends to be more administrative and deals with items such as payroll and employment law. So I know we, we talked about the, the four areas in the previous slide, but, but really the personnel management function is focused in on payroll and employment law. It's responsible for managing a workforce as a primary resource that contributes to the success of the organization. Now that's the HR. The HR resources are responsible for for looking at the overall management of the workforce. Whereas personnel we're putting forward as a much narrower function looking at payroll and perhaps um, aspects of employment. So the HR function is described as much broader in scope than personal management. It's much, much wider. Uh, a primary goal of human resources is to enable employees to work to max the maximum level of efficiency. So the HR function is to encourage people to work to maximum efficiency, create motivation, uh, create a good morale, create safety and look after the welfare of the workers and ensure that the tasks that they're given are achievable make sure that they are motivated, as I said earlier. So that's much wider. It's looking after the workforce in a way that will maximize their efficiency. But we're seeing them as, as different. Let's talk about personal management in a little more detail. It's traditional and routine administrative tasks. So it's much more routine. It's, it's ensuring that the tasks that are necessary to be completed to have a workforce are completed. For example, payroll and issues surrounding the payment of the employees. It looks after holiday entitlement and uh, uh, pay scales and looks at the more traditional roles. So it looks at payroll and parts of employment law that are relevant. There's no doubt that employee motivation is partially dependent on rewards such as pay and bonuses and compensation packages. So that's important. The, the HR role, as I said, was much wider. HR would look at motivation and uh, communications with the workers and uh, 
dealing with issues such as safety and uh, the environment in which the workers are employed and training schemes and and so on development issues so the HR people are looking at motivation in a in a wider context and sometimes people are just simply motivated by being praised we like to be recognized for what we've done well so it's not necessarily all about money now the HR function manage the whole workforce so that's the first point develops and trains employees in order to enhance efficiency and meet the organizational goals so the HR manages the employees and develops the employees to meet the organizational goals it has a continuous improvement plan constantly trying to improve the workforce and constantly trying to improve the conditions of employment so that there's greater retention of the workforce people like working for the company uh, there's better communications and morale is quite high the HR function is an integral part of the organization it's a very important function within the organization it's necessary to have a good and well motivated workforce if the company is going to succeed so motivation is depending dependent on work groups career opportunities job satisfaction and job creativity people's opinions about the job and uh, their ideas for improving the way the work runs these are important and should be taken on board so now we've got a distinction that we need to be clear about one is the HR function which is wider it involves the all the range of activities that develop the workforce uh, ensure the continuity of the workforce and the efficiency of the workforce motivate the workforce and develop them with courses and so on and the personnel function which deals with specific functions such as perhaps the payroll holiday entitlement and sickness and uh, that sort of thing absenteeism now human resources function well human resource management is responsible for the acquisition development and training of staff acquiring the staff acquiring them within the labor market finding the staff seeking them out developing and training the staff it looks at rewards to facilitate motivation it looks at pay scales and uh, overall remuneration and looks at bonuses and uh, looks at ways of uh, motivating the workforce it, it re recruits people to the workforce and also looks at their exit from the organization it interviews them at the end to find out what their experiences were and what went right and what went wrong and what could be improved upon and making sure that uh, issues are properly closed off now job analysis well establishing a job requirement is a part of the HR function it's finding out what the job will entail the tasks the responsibilities the skills the experiences and the qualifications that are necessary to meet the, re the job requirements so it's the the HR function to itemize what is required so development of a job description it, it's finding out what the job will entail and what are the required attributes of the uh, the worker the employee and then developing a job description which 
quite simply, as I said, describes the job. That's all I'm going to do in this session. I'm going to leave it at that and say thank you for watching.